There's no doubt that people love cats and dogs. But does one stand out over the other? I give up. Please don't hurt me. Ah! Oh, get your butt off my face, Tinkles! Ah! Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and in this episode of Versus, we're comparing the domestic cat with its canine counterpart, the domestic dog, to see which is the perfect pet. No, now's not the time for a plate of meatloaf. Now's the time for a plate of curry. Ladies and gentlemen, Garfield has left the coldest act. Round one, difficulty of care. Since we've had Lady, we see less and less of those disturbing headlines. Caring for animals can be a lot of work. And when you're looking to take in a dog or a cat, one should consider the related responsibilities. Ooh, that dog drives me crazy! Right from the start, dogs demand significant attention due to their need for initial training and housebreaking which can take around two months. We paid all this money to have this house renovated, and the dogs, you might as well just live in a f***ing circle. The dogs piss everywhere. Additionally, it's recommended that dogs not be left alone all day, to say nothing of their daily need for walks and other care. Huh? What? Help! I'm drowning! Oh, oh, oh it's you, Odie. <laughs> Cats differ in that they can cope when their owner departs for an extended period of time, and can very easily adopt habits like using a litter box. They're also stereotypically more independent than dogs on the whole, meaning they don't necessarily require as much attention and affection. That can either be a bad thing or a good thing, because if you've got a busy lifestyle and are always on the go, a more self-sufficient animal may be a better choice for you. In light of their relatively low-maintenance nature, we give the cats this point. Winner, cats. Aw, oh, listen, he's purring. Oh, so now it's cute. Round two, cleanliness. <laughs> With humans, pet hygiene is crucial, and there are clear distinctions in how cats and dogs are kept clean. Many dogs require constant upkeep. Though the frequency varies from breed to breed, owners should ensure their dogs are bathed and groomed on a constant basis. Contrary to popular belief, not all dogs can swim or even like water, so it's not always easy getting them into the bath. And if you've got a long-haired dog, beware of shedding and allergies, not to mention tangles if you don't maintain your pooch. <coughs> Felines, of course, also shed and can also trigger allergies. In fact, cat allergies are twice as common as dog allergies. And while you won't find any fully hypoallergenic cats, there are some steps you can take to lessen the symptoms. As for maintenance, cats, as a rule, do not require bathing as they lick themselves and even other cats regularly. Though it is suggested that long-haired cats be brushed regularly. Based on their general ability to remain clean, cats win the round. Winner, cats. Round three, variety of breeds. Both dogs and cats offer a plethora of breeds for potential owners to choose from. Big or small, self-sufficient or in need of attention, there's something for everyone in both cats and dogs. Some of the most popular breeds of cats include high-maintenance Persian, highly social and athletic Siamese, winter-friendly Maine Coon, and the British Shorthair. But regardless of the breed, cats remain small across the board. Dogs vary even more wildly, from the tall Great Danes to the tiny Pomeranians. Even among medium-sized dogs, the variation between breeds such as devoted Golden Retrievers, highly trainable German Shepherds, and attention-loving Bulldogs is quite astounding. How they're just looking right in camera, they're camera They're like, huh? what's up? Given the great diversity of breeds available, dogs take the point. Winner, dogs. Somebody cover the dog! Round four, functionality. In addition to house training and tricks, the topic of function is not uncommon when it comes to cats and dogs. Each is uniquely suited to certain tasks and purposes. Cats are well known for their hunting and killing of rodents, generally being effective at driving out mice, rats, and other animals of the sort. However, their skill set doesn't extend far beyond that. 
In short, as mentioned, cats are usually considered more independent. Help me! Please help! Somebody help me! Help! Dogs, meanwhile, are known for their loyalty, trainability, and devotedness to humans, which is why they're considered man's best friend and have been trained to help humans in many ways. Hold them, boy! <laughs> They're routinely sought for many jobs, like sniffing out drugs for the police, acting as service dogs, assisting in hunting, or even simply protecting their owner in the home. Yeah, what are you gonna do? Let me in your house. Come on, let me in. Ah, 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 ah. For the multitude of roles that they can adopt, dogs win the round. Winner, dogs. <laughs> Round 5. Interactivity Sheik. Uh-huh. Speak. Hi there. <gasps> when it comes to pets, perhaps the greatest measure of their value is how they interact with their owners, both in terms of activities and where interactions occur. Cats are largely indoor-oriented, typically enjoying things on their own terms. When an owner can get their attention, cats are often entranced by simple items such as laser pointers, string, and yarn. They have a particular fixation on basic games that let them stalk and pounce on objects. Cats do show affection for their human masters and can be social creatures, but as mentioned, they usually prefer to stay indoors, meaning if you like to explore the great outdoors, kitties may not be your best companion. All right, Pongo. All right, boy. Dogs can play well both indoors and outdoors. Obviously, smaller dogs are more suited for smaller places, but all dogs need to go outside and get some fresh air from time to time. In their natural habitat, dogs will engage more directly with their owners. A common activity for owners is to take their dogs to the park and play fetching games with them. So, canines will definitely help you stay healthy by forcing you to do more exercise, which builds strong bonds between you and your pet in the process. Wow. <coughs> You know how to cut to the core of me, Baxter. You're so wise. But like a miniature Buddha covered in hair. Because of the clearer sense of bonding and interaction, dogs win the round. Winner, dogs. Sashi! As it stands, we feel the utility and interactive nature of dogs, coupled with their vast array of breeds, outweigh the simplicity of owning a cat. That said, feel free to keep up the discussion in the comments below. And be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. Anything else you'd like to tell your fans? Mm -hmm.